First on Fox, following a fatal accident a month ago, Kirkwood City Councilor is now calling on St. Louis County officials to lower the speed limit along a stretch of Big Ben Boulevard. Fox 2's Max Deeknight joins us live at the intersection of Big Ben and South Geyer. And Max, this proposed change could affect about two miles of this busy roadway? Yeah, Jordan, Jordan, that's right. We're talking about from 270 along Big Bend all the way to I-44, about two miles, as you said. This coming after a woman died here at this intersection about a month ago. Residents are behind this. They fear it won't do much, but they say at this point, anything will help. Resolution 93 2024 passes. Thursday night's vote came just over a month after 45 year old Sarah Howell, a beloved assistant principal at Confluence Academy in St. Louis, was hit and killed at the intersection of Big Bend and South Guyer. It's an area residents say is very dangerous for both pedestrians and drivers. They want to see people slow down. It's a straight stretch, so people get going pretty quick, and there's not like a ton of lights on it, so you you can, which is not a good thing. Riley Gromit and her dog Bodie live down the street. Gromit thinks added signage could be even more effective than lowering the speed limit. I don't know how much difference it would make, but it definitely wouldn't hurt. I don't know that people will still pay attention to it and they'll probably still speed, but maybe lowering the speed limit or even having like more clear signs. Like I think more signs at this intersection right here for sure would be helpful. Other residents tell us the intersection is complicated for those not familiar with the area as it includes back to back lights, few signs and of course a railroad crossing. I've seen people driving that fast through here um, and, and it's my opinion that they're most of them are driving that fast because they know there's an intersection with a train track and they want to try to get through. Conaway says he'd like to see Kirkwood police patrol this intersection more often. Both say while they aren't sure this resolution will do much because this is a county road, they give Kirkwood officials an A for effort. I think it's a good thing that Kirkwood's Kirk taking that step. To know that they're taking initiative and like this is even something being discussed is like nice. One council person pointed out their main complaint is the varying speed limits along this stretch of Big Bend along two miles. It goes from 30 to 35 to 40 back down to 35. They want to see it 30 miles per hour along that stretch entirely. By the way, this resolution did pass unanimously tonight. Now it's up to the St. Louis County Council to go ahead and decide whether they want to make the change. Reporting live in Kirkwood, Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.